Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back to the channel StrangeNet here. So, it's been a while since my last video. Um, I have been playing EVE very actively of recent. Um, and basically, just going to cover some of the stuff that's changed for me recently in regards to manufacture, industry, and basically its making in general. So obviously I did a lot of my industry stuff next door in perimeter in the TTT outlets. Um, they have been under considerable pressure recently by um, opposing sides, uh, people trying to take it out, etc. It is still there. Um, if you cast your mind back to one of my previous videos, um, I had some Tech 2 BPOs in there which were producing um, some items. I obviously had to cancel them um, at the time because... Well, I was concerned that they were either going to get lost or they were going to get stuck, and that would have caused me quite a lot of stress. So at the time, I cancelled them. It cost me about 7 to $8 billion -isk, um, a little bit of a hit. Um, but I thought at the time it was worth it. In hindsight, obviously, them structures, apart from the um, Heapstar itself, are all still there. Um, but again, under considerable pressure every now and then from opposing factions. So obviously this had quite an impact on my general game style. Um, I used to do a lot of the invention stuff next door, um, a lot of building, and yeah, it was one of them moments where, you know, big things come along, change what it is that you generally do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I've taken a bit of a step back from industry in regards to that specifically because, well, the turmoil that it's created, and again, I've had to, you know, reevaluate what it is that I want to do, what it is that I want from the game, and if I'm still going to do that, how I'm going to do it going forward now that things have changed. Because obviously, you know, I still do a lot of invention and um, blueprint um, improvements in Tama. I know a lot of people don't like Tama. It is quite a scary place at times, but um, yeah, that's where I do a lot of the, uh, the stuff. But Again, moving large quantities of items into Tama um, can be problematic. Tama is often the most um, destructive place in the whole of EVE Online, assuming nothing's going on in the Zero Zero um, areas in Nullsec. So I understand people's reservations for using Tama, but you know it does have um, a good value there in regards to blueprints, the, uh, the cost that you run having to uh, research blueprints, etc. So again, I'm still using Tama, but not quite as much as I used to after the destruction of the last um, station that was there. Now, hopefully the current one's a bit more stable, but again, before moving billions and billions and billions of um, materials and that in there, I've been a bit more tentative. Um, and that's because, as I say, the reshuffling of high sec, low sec, etc. There's been a lot of politics going on and... Again, that affects, you know, the rest of us that are kind of neutral to it all. But, um, yeah, it does have an effect on the rest of us. So I'm still currently holding uh, 210 extractors. Well, I've actually got 50 on the market. I'm hoping that the uh, the price gets up to there pretty soon. Um, the price has been quickly going up over the last several days. So hopefully the supplies of them are starting to dwindle now. Um, and I'm looking forward to offloading a good number of them. I'm thinking about keeping um, some of them because I do have some uh, skill farms going. So getting rid of all of them right now might not be the best deal. Or I could find myself buying them back at a higher price. Don't know. I've got to decide whether or what I'm going to do with them at the moment. But again, I am still holding what well, two hundred and sixty. Recently got rid of fifty at the current price, um, just to obviously gain some of the, the that that is back, and um, so I can do other things with it. So at the moment, I'm not. I've got quite a lot of investment in them. Yeah, what eighty eight. Um, I think if it sells at the current price, it was, a, it was about what, 130 billion isk. So I'm looking forward to getting some of that back. I've been buying some Plex up because, well, you never know when you quite might need it. And it's been hovering. It's been very stable, actually, Plex price for a while. And we had a little spike here. But all in all, yeah, relatively stable. So yeah, I'd like it to be about 460 before I'm buying, but at the moment, yeah, I've had to kind of bite the bullet a bit. Um, extractors have been going up, which is, again, nice to see. 
sorry, injectors have been going up and extractors have been going up, which is obviously why um, skill injectors have been going up at the same time. So, yeah, there's a lot going on in EVE at the moment. Um, I'm looking forward to FanFest coming up, seeing what um, CCP has in mind in regards to that, how they're going to push EVE forward, um, what their big plans are. Obviously, CIS is down and won't be coming back up anytime soon for as mere mortals to um, play around on. Um, I quite like the idea of that. Again, you can't get advanced um, information in regards to the market, although you often see the market spike in regards to what's changing even before it's on CIS. Um, usually tinfoil hats where appropriate. Um, so I've not been doing much manufacturing and I've not been doing a great deal of selling items either. As you can see, I'm currently selling I actually have sold out of them, so um, let's get some more of them back on the market. Doing 500 at a time. And again, I've been dabbling in a lot of other things. I've been doing a, a lot of um, oh, abyssal sites. been doing a lot of mining. Just, again, doing a bit more active ISK making. Now, I'm obviously still involved in a lot of industry um, endeavors. But um, I've stepped back, so I say, quite a lot from actually physically building stuff at the moment. And that's because the market is, uh, I won't say not in a great place, but it's um, it has become quite hard in some areas to profit like I was doing or have done in the past. So, again, just refining the strategy and what it is that I want and how I'm going to get there. Um, I've also found as well... Obviously, I, I have a considerable amount of ISK, and sometimes I do question why I'm pushing it forward, and especially when I'm not making videos. Um, the general reason why I push making ISK is so I have a basis to be able to show you guys that it is possible, and that, yes, there are there is you know financial backing there, and that I have this to do and to play with, but a lot of it has been gained by showing you guys how to do it. Um, my my general motivation was never generally to make ISK. I've got more ISK than I know what to do with nowadays. Um, and again, that's probably been the case for a good while. Yes, I don't generally run around in super capitals um, and other blingy ships. But, you know, I'm never going to be destitute either. So, you know, that motivation for grinding ISK is always, um, it's always hard sometimes to push when you've got a lot of it. Um, because, you know, I'm just piling more onto the piles I already have. And what's what's the point at the end of the day? Now, as I said, I've been doing a lot of Abyssal sites. I really enjoy doing the Abyss. I still enjoy doing the Abyss. Um, I've moved up from Tier 4s to Tier 5s now. i found a fit that I enjoy, um, which has been working out pretty well. The ISK is obviously better. T6s are still a bit of a push for the setup that I'm using. I can do it, but again, there are some waves that just decimate me very very quickly and it's not that i'm opposed to losing ships i just don't like having to go back and refit and do it all over again so i find the tier fives the um the cost of the filaments are reasonable versus the reward and the risk um it's relatively minor although again the odd wave just randomly absolutely masks you for it just comes out of nowhere you know you can be you could do a hundred quite easily and not have any problems whatsoever and this one wave which seems relatively generic just just wipes the floor with you so you know there's a that balance and I think the balance for me is definitely between fours and fives um depending on how relaxed I want my session to be or whether I want a little bit more stress with it and a bit more um you know sitting a bit more fun um been doing a lot more PvP as well of late. Again, I, I, I drift in and out of PvP. Um, I do enjoy it. Sometimes it is very time consuming. And yeah, you know, again, it's just finding different areas. I've done manufacturing for a good while and I'm just looking at different parts of the game to get back into. My, my early years of EVE, probably the first 10 years, were quite heavily PvP focused. So I've done a lot of PvP. Um, then I got into more industry. Um, with a bit of a balance between PvP and then it went more to industry. 
um, where I've been playing solo and now so I say it's I won't say it's going back more to PvP now but I've definitely had a bit of an uptake in regards to that uh, and mining I had quite a substantial loss um, the other day in regards to mining I lost uh, yeah I lost about 10 billion isk in it ships um, which was pretty painful um, now I have the ability obviously to pay that back make that back and all the rest of the yada 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 but it's still you know I still don't like losing ships and especially mining ships when you know it could potentially have been quite easily avoided it was a mistake on my part but um you know yeah um, it was quite quite an interesting moment it's the first time I think in um, about a year and a half of actually mining, but I've, I've lost mining ships. So I must have made easily 250 billion isk from mining uh, moons and anomalies and the rest of it. So, yeah, it's it pales into comparison to the amount of isk that I've made, but it still was a bit of a slap in the face. Um, and that's generally because I don't think, well, I can guarantee I've, I've never lost a ship uh, in PvP that's been 10 billion isk or even close to it so uh yeah it was a it was a bit of a painful experience but it was an experience nevertheless and again you know if you take it out the chances are that sooner or later you'll lose it there was a bit of heckling in the um in local but you know you just kind of suck it up and get on with it yeah i made a mistake yes it was quite a painful loss but in you know all in all that that's part of you know why we do it ships didn't die then Obviously, manufacturing wouldn't be a thing. So, you know, it's just about keeping perspective. I didn't have a random rage. I, I basically just, you know, chastised myself and uh, looked at why and how I could have done something different and learnt my lesson. And it won't be something that happens again in the future. The mistake that I made, I won't go into what the actual mistake was because um, I don't want my aunts to be necessarily noticed. Not, not that they will be, but you get the general gist. Um, but yeah, you know, again, it's Eve in a nutshell that you, you know, sometimes you do something stupid and hopefully you learn from it. And that's a mistake that I won't replicate in the future. And, you know, with each little mis each mistake that's made, a little correction is made each and every time. And you get to the point where it's very rare that you ever lose a ship. So I say it's, it's the first set of mining ships I've lost since I actually started mining properly. And it's a, a mistake that I won't replicate any time soon, that's for sure. And I could talk for another four hours, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to slowly wrap it up there, um, just bring it to a close, and basically just say, yeah, expect more videos um, coming from me um, in rapid succession over the next couple of weeks um, as I get back into YouTube video making and basically showcasing what it is that I'm doing with Eve. Um, trying to tackle some of the issues that I'm finding and some of the issues that come up in regards to industry and other areas of the game. So um, with that, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. Look forward to talking to you again soon.